uh, today we see about the views of data what is data abstraction and then uh, what is instances and schema in the last video we have seen the uh, introduction of database management system what is the uh, file processing system and what are the disadvantages of file system and then uh, what are all been uh, overcome in database management system i have given the description i have given the link of the first video in the description link you can just uh, view this video for the uh, next part of the database management system so view of data a database is nothing but a collection of interrelated data and the set of programs that allows the user to access these operations whatever the operations might be you can do it in the database system okay so the major purpose of database system is to provide the users with the abstract view of the data what is abstract view of the data uh, when there is an application if you want to access the application you want to enter some names details everything so you would like to see only the details you want to enter or the details you want to know you just want to view only those things or all the complexity and the coding of that particular applications do you wish to uh, see all the complexity of that applications complexity structure of those applications and then the coding of those application no absolutely not whatever you want to view in that application only those will be viewed so what is that abstract view so the what are the what the unnecessary things that the user don't want to view will be hidden from the end users that process is nothing but data abstraction and whatever is needed will be viewed by the user and that is called the abstract view of the data so it is nothing but system hide certain details of how the data is stored and maintained so no one cares about it and then the next is data abstraction is the process of hiding unwanted and uh, irrelevant data from the end users so it has different uh, views and support in attaining the data independence which is used to enhance the security of data what is uh, data independence so we will be having different layers of uh, data in the architecture will be having different layers if a data is being modified at one level that should not affect the data in the other level if that is going to happen then some changes in the one level if it affects the other various levels of uh, levels in the database that might completely collapse the database so there should be a data independence in data abstraction so data abstraction should support in attaining the data independence which is used to enhance the security of the data okay so the database system consists of uh, various complicated data structures where those will not be actually shown to the user as i told you already they're all kept hidden and only the remaining part easy part and the accessible part is actually displayed to the end users through data abstractions so there are various levels of uh, uh, data abstraction we'll be seeing what are all those various levels of data abstractions there are three levels of data abstractions one is physical level logical level and the third one is view level so what is uh, physical level so it describes how the data are actually stored and physical level is what data are actually stored suppose in a table you have a table called student so you have the record so the uh, registration number will be integer what type of data integer and the name what type of data string so student degree what type of data string and then customer mobile integer student email what type of data string so what type of data is being stored in the database is actually described in logical level so this is also referred to as a physical data independence physical data independent refers to the ability to change the physical level data without getting affecting the different levels such as logical level or view level so we'll come to the view level view level is nothing but what the end user actually see he will not be seeing the complexity part of those applications only whatever is actually needed only the flexible part and the needed part and the accessible part will be viewed to the users so that part only the uh, end users wanted part will be displayed and that will be in the view level so various um, simple structures and the variety of information stored in the uh, large database is not actually uh, needed for the uh, users only the simple structures will be shown to the users okay so these are all the different view of data so the physical level logical level and then view level this will be viewed by the users 
instances and schemas what is instances and what is schema so i would say very easily for the understanding purpose instance is nothing but the information that is getting stored in the database that moment where the information getting stored in the database the moment the information is getting stored in the database is nothing but instance of the database and the overall design of a particular database is nothing but database schema okay so uh, the database design will not obviously get changed frequently because it's a database design when you are building a house you cannot change it frequently okay so if you change the uh, design of your house frequently that will collapse so obviously the schema schemas is nothing but design so database schema database designs are not subjected to change frequently so schemas are changed infrequently whereas instances will change because that is nothing but the variables that get saved at that particular moment see here the database schema corresponds to the variable declarations in a program okay so each variable has a particular value at a given instant and it also depends on the instance of the database schema whereas schema is the overall description of the database which i told you it's a design so the basic structure of how the data will be stored in the database is called as schema instances and schema so database systems have several schemas according to the levels of abstractions so we have three levels of abstraction which is physical level and then logical level and then view level okay so the uh, schema of the physical level is called physical schema and the schema at the logical level is called the logical schema as well as schema at the view level is also called view schema whereas view schema will have different sub schemas and because that will be showing the different views of the database so it will have different uh, schemas called sub schemas so of this as i told you logical schema is by far the most important because that is going to get displayed to the user because that is uh, that is what user is going to view because that is going to the application so the programmer construct the applications by using the logical schema if the application is very collapsed and messy obviously you will not be able to uh, access it or users will not like to access the, that also okay so that is more important logical schema is more important so the physical schema is hidden beneath the logical schema as i showed uh, in the diagram we have the physical schema in the um, underneath that is the very uh, lower level is called the physical schema and the logical schema on top of it and then uh, view level so the data in the physical level can be changed now and then without affecting the other levels of abstractions and then as i told you earlier the logical level it describes the database designed at the logical level and physical schema is nothing but database designed at the physical level and the design of the database at the view level is nothing but view level so the difference between the schema and instance so schema is nothing but it's a whole database schema is a whole database where data is nothing but the variables declarations that will be present at that moment for various operations additions deletions updations so it also can be subject to change and then uh, schema is the overall description of the database that is a design and it is a collection of information that is stored in the database at a particular instance schema does not change frequently whereas instance changes frequently schema defines the basic structure of the database how the data will be stored and then it is the set of information stored at a particular time thank you guys we will be seeing the data models in our next video thank you